Hello all, in this video we will see how to power up your Arduino Uno in the right way. There are three methods of powering up your Arduino Uno, DC socket, USB port and B in. Any one of this method you can use. At the mod bottom of the Uno board you can see a black uh, socket, this is uh, DC socket, DC barrel socket. Here you can provide a adapter, power adapter and then plug in the DC pin to this socket and uh, to the top is the usb socket this is usb b type socket you can directly plug in your pc usb port to this usb socket and the third one is the v in pin at the bottom uh, you can see this v in pin in the gpu power pin section any one of this method you can safely uh, power up your arduino first let us see the dc socket method this dc socket is uh, 2.1 mm barrel socket and the center one is uh, inner side is positive recommended is uh, 7 to 12 volt but uh, uh, rating up to 20 volt is acceptable but always use uh, uh, below 12 volt 7 to 12 volt you can use a power adapter like this and uh, plug in the power adapter to the AC socket and the DC pin to this uh, uh, DC socket so for after this DC circuit you can see a diode which provides reverse polarity protection. So even if the if you provide a power adapter with the outer positive it is safe to use as there is a diode protection. Now the, let us check the voltage using this small voltmeter, two wire voltmeter. At the V in pin you can see it is 11.4 volt but we have provided a power adapter of 12 volt the reason is there is a diode in between after the dc circuit there is a diode you can see this black stud after the dc circuit this is the uh, diode of uh, one ampere capacity it provides reverse polarity protection it has got two terminals one anode and one cathode uh, and it uh, forward drop voltage is 0.6 volt so it drops 0 0.6 volt that is the reason you get 11.4 volt even if you provide 12 volt input after that there is a 5 volt regulator and then 3.3 volt regulator let us check the voltage at plus 5 volt pin and plus 3.3 volt pin the 5 volt is showing uh, perfectly 5 volt the 3.3 as this uh, small display capacity minimum voltage is 5 volt it is not showing let us use a digital multimeter so the voltage regulators are working fine 5 volt and 3.3 volt in this dc socket method we provide supply at this dc socket it passes through a 1 ampere diode a 5 volt regulator and finally the 3.3 volt regulator on board you can see over the dc socket there is a sot package there is a small outline transistor package this is 7805 the rating of this is minimum 6.6 .6 volt and maximum 20 volt that is the reason if you provide 5 volt to this DC socket it will not work minimum 6.6 .6 is required and uh, at the top of these two capacitors you can see a small SOT IC which is the 3.3 volt regulator which uh, which provides 3.3 volt at 150 milliamps only so make a note of this the 3.3 volt is only 150 milliamps capacity so instead of this uh, power adapter you can also use uh, at this barrel socket a 9 volt battery like this 9 volt battery and a tag with a dc pin you can plug on this 9 volt battery directly to this uh, dc socket it provides 500 milliamps of current for a maximum of one hour it is not a big capacity but for portable applications where you want to show your demo it is very handy it provides 500 milliamps maximum for one hour next we will see the usb port method the usb port of arduino you know is b type here you can connect a cable like this a to b usb cable directly to your pc's usb port if your pc's usb port is usb 2 it provides 500 milliamps current if it is usb 3 it provides 900 milliamps current this is for power as well as data communication rxdx data communication when you are using USB port, only this poly fuse, reasonable fuse will come into picture and there is also a P-channel MOSFET. This 5 volt regulator will not come into picture. 
now let us see this uh, polyfuse resettable fuse and the p channel mosfet action the gold color uh, smd item seen on the board is the thermal fuse which is uh, 500 milliamps capacity if your arduino board draws more than 500 milliamps this gets hot and it will go go to thermal shutdown once the load is removed and the fuse is allowed to cool off it gets reset and starts working normally let us remove the power and uh, check this uh, resetable fuse by a multimeter it shows continuity as it is a fuse it shows continuity this poly fuse is uh, resetable and uh, there is a p channel mosfet also which acts as a switch so both of this will provide a protection to this usb next to the gold color smd you can see smd sot item three pin item which is the p channel mosfet this p channel mosfet has got three terminals one is gate and another one is source and the third one is the drain when a low level logic is applied to this gate there is a current flow between uh, drain and source and the load is connected to the drain as it is uh, p channel mosfet supply is at source and uh, load is at drain when a low is applied to the gate it will act as a switch and the switch is closed and when a high is applied to this gate this switch will be open this p channel mosfet acts as a physical switch when a low is applied to the gate the switch is closed and when high is applied to this gate the switch is open by default there is low at the gate so the switch is closed when you provide a cable at the usb the voltage will pass through the poly fuse resetable fuse and it will reach the 5 volt pin the 5 volt regulator will not come into picture only the 3.3 volt regulator will come into picture when you provide a supply at the dc socket or at the v in pin a high voltage is available at this point so the uh, gate of the p channel mosfet is at high this uh, switch will be open so usb power line only is disabled and it will not affect the uh, signal pins rx tx signal pins are not affected so you can safely connect uh, dc power as well as the usb cable when uh, power is available at dc socket this p channel mosfet will act as an open switch and usb power will not be allowed this reasonable fuse uh, is provided only in arduino uno and mega the nano is not having this reasonable fuse poly fuse this uh, fuse and uh, mosfet provides protection to the usb socket finally we will see the external power source at v in an external power source like 12 volt 2 amps can be used and you can provide the uh, supply at the v in pin take care of the polarity there is no reverse protection for this v in the diode will not come into picture so always take care while using this v in pin positive at v in pin and ground to ground this diode will not come into picture directly it will go to the 5 volt regulator no reverse polarity protection is there while you are using the v in pin you should take care of the polarity plus and minus while using uh, motors load like this never uh, power it up from arduino always use external power supply and make the ground of power supply and the and that of the you know common as each gpu pin can handle only up to 20 milliamps never uh, power the uh, sensors like a gas sensor from Arduino, you know directly always use an external power supply and relay boards and a final note on this plus 5 volt pin this plus 5 volt pin is uh, only an output you can only uh, sync current from that while you're using a usb power you get 500 milliamps at this point while using a dc uh, socket you get 4 amps at this point to summarize when you are using DC socket, only the uh, diode will come into action and uh, there is a 5 volt regulator and 3.3 volt regulator. While using a USB socket, you get this thermal fuse protection as well as the P channel MOSFET protection. And while using the V-in, only the regulator will come into action. There is no reverse polarity protection. While using 
uh, your servo uh, like this or a relay board like this you can directly uh, use this 5 volt pin for the supply as it can provide up to 1 ampere while using a DC power you can safely uh, power up the servo or relay board from this uh, Arduino you know itself while only for external loads heavy loads you have to use external supply so take care while using the uh, power source of the Arduino thank you for watching